Hi everybody, I'm going to check this time about the side swap. The side swap is uh, the mathematics of juggling. It's going to help us to make more throws and to learn uh, some style of juggling, okay? First in the side swap, it's about numbers and rhythm. Okay, we're going to check the numbers. The first number we're going to check is the zero. Okay, the zero is when we have empty hands. Okay, later we have number one. The one is when we want to pass the ball from one hand to another in an horizontal movement, like this. Regularly, normally, it's a fast throw. We can do in the front, we can do in the back, behind the leg, behind the other leg, the neck, everywhere. Always use from one hand to another one. Number one. Then we have the number two. The number two is when the ball stays in the same hand. It can stay in the same hand, and it could be a throw to the same hand. Could be like this, like this, like this, anyone you want. Number two. Then we have the number three. The number three is when we pass the ball from one hand to another. And back and forth. You can do it in the back, you can do it in the front. So now we can check. We have even numbers two, four, six, eight, anyone want. It's a throw to the same hand. Four, six, eight, and to the height that we want. It's to the same hand. And when we have an odd number, three, five, seven, nine, it's to the different hand. Three, five, seven. And that's the way we're gonna make side swap. In the side swap, we have a timeline that is the one that's gonna help us to don't receive two balls in the same hand, okay? So, we have a timeline. Zero, one, two, three, four. It's always right and then left, or left and then right. So, if we throw the ball at the time zero with the right hand, let's throw a three. We throw the ball, and it's gonna arrive in the other hand at the time three. So, if we throw the ball at the time zero, number four, If we throw it with the right hand, we're gonna receive it with the right hand again. So, we have the magic glow of side swap. We have some properties that's gonna help us to make side swap right. So, the basic, basic formula is the, we're gonna make an addition of the values of the numbers of the throws between the number of throws is gonna be equal to the number of balls that we have. Okay, let's check. For example, we have three balls, okay? We're gonna make a three, three, three. My left hand is gonna throw a three, my right hand is gonna throw another three, and the left hand is gonna throw another three. It's gonna be three, 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 boom. Okay, again, three, three, three. So we have three, 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 okay? We're gonna make the addition, three plus three plus three, it's equal to, bing, nine. Between three throws, that's equal to three balls. Okay, let's check another trick. We're gonna check the four, four, one. Four, four, and one. So it's gonna be four, four, one. Four, four, one. We're gonna stay that three. Okay, so now let's check. Four plus four plus one equal to 10. No, 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 no. Nine, nine, yes. Between 
three throws equal to three bolts. So I hope this is clear with the side swap. Uh, you, you can find a lot of uh, good information at the web. And thank you very much. We're gonna still learning more juggling from the basics to the top. Thank you very much. Thank you.